handing out flyers to uh, local 3001 members here in Arlington, Virginia. I have a flyer that we have comparing Obama's record with McCain's record on worker issues. Some issues that we think why we're supporting Obama, we're giving out flyers for that. And uh, this is a big local for us and um, um, we just need them to turn out and help us get out the vote. Where are we? Yeah. I think I'm in Shirlington. I'm just all over the place. <laughs> Where are we, Cecilia? Um, I think she said Shirlington. These <laughs> drivers, uh, they work in Parks and Rec, they work in uh, water streets and sewers. We're basically blue collar workers that keep the streets clean, the parks up and running, uh, school buses. The work that if we disappeared, people would be moaning. <laughs> Things are going great. We're hitting a lot of houses, a lot of doors. Uh, a lot of people are interested in what's going on. Uh, there are a number of people that are undecided. It's hard to believe this late in the process, given the differences between the candidates, but a lot of people on the doors are undecided. Uh, some people are enthusiastically for Obama and uh, Warner here in Virginia and Connolly from the congressional seat in the 11th district. Our phone banking was good. You know, I got a lot of no answers, but, you know, for the most part, the people that I did get were in favor of Obama. And these are our communities, and it's important that, you know, our members see us do this kind of stuff. I want to make sure that union members know the union's position and want to just encourage them to vote uh, because this is going to make a real difference. Well, the, you know, there's so many. I, personally, I think the economy is going to be a big factor uh, for our next president, and, and I don't think McCain's got a clue. So uh, that's a big factor. Um, Outsource uh, the jobs going overseas and, and what uh, uh, Obama's uh, proposing, credits for uh, companies that either bring jobs in or, or, or don't outsource. Yeah! Those are the two big ones for me. <laughs> well, I, I, I think it's important for all working people, uh, especially state, county, and municipal employees. I think we need someone uh, in government who supports government, somebody who will make a change, somebody who will uh, make working families a priority, help address some working condition issues, uh, make, make it uh, friendlier for unions, and. Uh, also improve health care. For our members, it means uh, someone who's going to be fighting for working families, making sure we keep uh, good jobs here, especially workers in the private sector, keep those positions from getting privatized. He has experience both in terms of his personal experience, but also the fact that he was a community organizer. Uh, it means that he sees things from, from the bottom up, which I think is really critical. Well, I think, I think setting a, a new direction for the country and, and also the bigger issues like change. I mean, I really think we need somebody who is going to make government work instead of continuing to run against government. For me personally, I think he represents um, you know, someone who represents general leadership. Right? Uh, someone who I haven't seen in, in a very long time that you know, a lot of communities can support. Now they're not voting for them. And Biden. <laughs> Why do you think it's important that we get them elected? Well, because it's time for a change. Like they said, uh, we don't want another eight years of the of the past eight years. And um, McCain and Palin are not going to give us any change. They're going to give us the same old thing. Uh, you know, it's it seems like it's getting stronger as it goes. Um, I wasn't so sure the first couple of weeks, but uh, getting a lot of, uh, or at least a few McCain, but uh, yeah! Now we're getting more and more Barack Obama, it seems like. We've got an excellent chance, uh, especially if people come out to vote.